All righty. Doing this video on the budget gun. This is going to be part one of a multi-part series. How long will it go? I don't know. Uh, set some parameters for this stuff. The guns must be in current production for this first video. And they have to be, you can get parts for them, work on them, and in a common caliber and still remain budget friendly. First one that comes to mind is the EC9S Ruger makes. Seven shot in the flush magazines, got extended magazines you can get which carry nine shots, brings your capacity to nine and one or 10 or eight and one or seven and one and eight. gun with what comes with one magazine i bought two more they ran me about 25 dollars a piece uh 214 dollars out the door for the gun the little DeSantis holster i caught on special midway i think i paid 25 dollars for it so we're still very close just under a 300 dollar gun and set up it's a nine millimeter, which is a common caliber. Right now, it is about the cheapest center fire cartridge you can get out of a pistol. This gun, despite its small size, shoots very accurately. Uh, I use it oftentimes for a concealed carry gun. In a lot of the same roles, I would typically use my J-Frame 38s. The reason I would recommend this over the J-Frame 38 five-shot snubby is this price. Uh, I know with my discounts, I can get into a J-Frame 36, uh, 640, 642 for around. $350. Well, this one about 100 to 125, $130 less. The gun so far, and this is not the first one I've owned. Uh all of the guns in this lineup have been absolutely reliable and despite their small slim size very accurate and easy for me to get my hands on and shoot con and controllable it's about the same size as the older walther ppks or ppk maybe a little longer than the ppks uh and a little narrower but could fit the role of a pocket gun say in a dress coat Depending on what pants I'm wearing, I can slip it in my pocket, uh, wear it on the hip, outside or inside the waistband. Uh, money well spent. And with the relatively low price of 9mm ammo, something you can afford to get out on the range and practice with, which is critical. Uh, this gun could serve as a home defense gun, a carry gun, one to have with you for either concealed or open carry. Wouldn't be my first choice as a woods gun, but if circumstances dictated that that's what I had with me, I would feel confident using it. Next one we have, this is the Mossberg Maverick 88. This is a 12-gauge shotgun. A little over $200 out the door. I put a one-point sling on it. This one carries seven rounds in the magazine tube, one more in the chamber for a total of eight rounds of two and three-quarter or three-inch buckshot or whatever shotgun shells you want. I just happen to keep it loaded with buckshot. Again, this is a gun 
set up for defensive uses, uh, home defense, ideally, because you're packing almost two and a half times the power of a 44 Magnum pistol in this 12 gauge. It's got the full length stock. It's very quick to get into action. Very easy to maneuver with with this short package. Uh, drawback is it's kind of a one dimensional gun. Yes, I could get away with doing some of my hunting and pest control chores with it, but it's not ideal. That brings us to something that may fit the bill a little better. The Stevens 320 pump shotgun. This one carries six rounds of two and three quarter, or it will carry five rounds of three inch magnum. This one has 18 and a half inch barrel on it. So work great for a home defense gun, but I also have a 28 inch barrel with it with screw in chokes. So I can make this a very versatile package here. Uh, I get a lot of mileage out of this setup because if I need it for a home defense gun, short barrel, I can shoot the flight control buckshot in it or slugs out of that same barrel and deer hunt with it. Uh, I can shoot conventional buckshot or turkey loads with a full choke in it and deer hunt with it. I can do my squirrel hunting with it. Uh, this package was a little bit over $200 with both barrels. So an absolutely versatile piece of equipment. And we can't talk about any budget firearms without talking about something in 22 long rifle. I was around 120 bucks brand new for this gun. I spent about 40 bucks and put a scope on it and another 20 and put a sling on it. Still well under 200 bucks and truth be known, uh, I could do without the scope. I like having it, but I don't necessarily need it for what I'm going to use this for. I can use it for small game hunting, pest control, a lot of tasks around the woods. Uh, would it be an ideal home defense gun? I'd rather have something with more power. But if I get backed into a corner and that's what I've got, that's what I'm going to fight with. Uh, 22 long rifles of very very versatile round you can do a lot more with it than people realize uh, and it's very inexpensive to shoot so this is our first part of our budget guns and looking at them so while the guns and your emergency preparedness may not be the first thing you want to look at they are important um, because it may be that you need them for foraging, for hunting food. You may need to keep pests at bay. Uh, you may need them for self-defense. Uh, and it's always better to have it than not need it than to need it and not have it. Later on, 